Section 11.6, Systems of Nonlinear Equations. So graph each equation of the system, then solve the system. Okay, so they call this nonlinear equations because if you take a look at this equation here, hopefully you recognize that it's a circle. Because my general form for a circle is x squared plus y squared equals r squared. So right away I can tell by looking at that that we're dealing with a circle here. And that's nonlinear. So we're going to be dealing with nonlinear equations now. And sometimes they can be linear. If you look at the next one down below, this one is actually a line. So that is linear. But the one above is a nonlinear. So it's a nonlinear system. So anyways, back to this one here. So if you think about that, if I had that x squared plus y squared equals r squared, then that tells me r would equal the square root of 10. And the square root of 10 is approximately 3.162277 blah, blah, blah. So what we're doing here is we have this circle. Now look at how it's centered now. This was a previous section. If you look at those, the x and the y, there's no shifts on those. That would be like an x plus 1, and then I'd shift to the left. Now, that center would move then, but since they're both just x and y, it's centered at the origin. And from the origin, we're going to go out 3.162, blah, 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 so 1, 2, 3. So it's going to be about here um, where this circle is going to be. Now, I'm just going to draw a circle with radius... Uh, approximately square root of 10. So now there's my first equation. Now it's not exact, I'm a little off, but it's close enough. Okay, now the other equation is y equals x plus 2. Now we're going to graph that one. So that means I go up to, I start here, and then I'm going to go up 1 over 1 because my slope is 1. So from there, I'm going to go up 1 over 1. So I'm going to have a dot here. Um, and I'm going to go down 1 over 1. And I'm just going to draw a few dots here so you can kind of see how this goes. So there's my line there. Now I'm going to draw my line. So there's my line. So now if we're going to solve this system of equations, we're going to look where these two equations intersect. And that's what it means to solve a system of equations, is to find where they intersect. So we're going to look and find these points. This looks like it would be 1, 2. That's what this one looks like it would be. And this one down here looks like it would be... No, hang on. Not 2. It would be 3, actually. So this one down here looks like it would be negative 3, negative 1. So it looks like those would be the answers for this one here. Oops, negative one. So that's what I would think the system would be. Now we can always check this. We can simply plug those values in. It should make both equations true. So what I mean by that as if I plug in my x and y here, um, it should equal 10. If I plug in my x here and my y here, whatever I get on um, the right side here should equal the left side here. So that's how I can tell if these actually are the correct answers. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to run through those really quick to kind of show you that they might be. Okay, so anyways, let's take the first one here. So we got x squared plus y squared equals 10. So all I'm going to do is plug in 1 squared uh, plus 3 squared equals 10. So then this is going to be 1 plus 9 equals 10. So then I get 10 equals 10. So what that shows me, it tells me that actually checks. Now I'm going to try the second equation. So my y is... And I'm looking at this y here, so that should be 3, okay? So it's going to be 3 equals, and now I have my x here, and my x here is 1, so 1 plus 2. So then 3 equals 3. Well, I'm pretty awesome. 
um, to graph them so exact. <laughs> okay, so anyways, let's do the other one now because that one checks for both lines. Now, again, I have to check both lines for this. If I just check one of them, it's not enough. Um, I have to check both, and it has to work for both. So let's try the other point now. Okay, so that's going to be the blue one there. Um, so I'm going to plug in... Oh, it's not the blue point. I'm sorry. It's Yeah, it's the blue. It's the other point. I'm sorry. It's this one down here. Okay, so anyways. So that's going to be negative 3 squared plus 1, negative 1 squared equals 10. So that's going to be 9 plus 1. That equals 10. So 10 equals 10. So that one checks as well. So now let's try the other one down below. So for my y, I'm going to have negative 1. Okay, this is my y. That's my y there, okay? And then that's going to equal negative 3 plus 2. So negative 1 equals negative 1. Actually, it worked out pretty great here. Actually, those points work wonderfully. I thought I'd be a little off for sure since we're dealing with a circle here. So anyways, that's our two answers there. And we labeled them, so that shows all of our work. What we did over here was just to check our answers, and I just kind of want to show you how to do that. So if you get an answer and you're not quite sure, you can actually go through it and figure out if you're right or not. So anyways, that's this question. Done.